John and Ken Show. John Cobell and Ken Shampo. It's KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk radio. It is. Welcome, everybody. All right, we're going to start right out by talking about the slobs in Sacramento. Liars, thieves, whores. I miss that, John. I really do. The tax revolt crap. Yeah, I know. I know. Liars. Th- I'm all alone. Yeah, where are our people? Where's our crowd? Heads on a stick. Listen to this. <laughs> You know, uh, this is about the gifts. We love the gifts because while they're small in amounts, they're freaking funny. And they're just like small bribes from the lobbyists to get the attention of the legislators who love this stuff. Please shower me with gifts. I want more cigars. <laughs> well, yeah, so I can jump in the hot tub with Schwarzenegger. It says here, uh, California elected officials were showered with gifts, Ooh. tickets to Lakers and Giants games, concerts, cigars, expensive meals, lodging at casino resorts. Golf games and foreign travel. Travel. Uh, Gift giving to the Senate and Assembly totaled about five hundred thousand five hundred dollars. It was one hundred and seventy-two grand in gifts and three hundred and twenty-nine thousand dollars in travel. Amusement parks, racetrack tickets, rounds of golf, spa, spa, spa treatments. Spa treatments deserves an extra oh, slam on the table. Oh, that means massages and nudity. Nudity. They're rubbed with oils and lotions. I'm sure they wore a towel. <laughs> no. Well, well, you know, it turns out that former State Senator Sam Blakely, a Republican, authored a bill that passed the Senate but died in the Assembly. Basically, it was going to curtail these gifts. Companies that hire lobbyists could not provide lawmakers and their families with gifts to amusement parks, racetracks, sporting events, and spa, golf, gift cards. And it didn't make it. Mm. And so one of the biggest benefactors of gifts last year was the largest man, we think, in Sacramento, Assembly Speaker John Perez, the cousin of Antonio Villaraigosa, the mayor of L.A. He's been the speaker for a couple of years now, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. $17,800 in gifts. Get this. He got $5,830 in travel expenses for an education trip. The L.A. Times prints it as an education trip. That makes me crazy. Patrick McGreevy said it was an education trip. Get out of here. It was a trip to South Korea paid for by the Korean American Economic Development Corporation. What's the education that he got exactly? Yeah, what do they want, you think? Perez got 28 meals. Oh. $89 dinner from Comcast. An $89 they, dinner? That's yeah, nice. They own NBC. They're across the street. As well as nine gifts of cigars and eight cigar boxes, a $100 crystal dock mm. from the California Retailers Association. He got a bunch of concert and sports tickets. Yeah, and he broke his teeth trying to bite into that crystal duck. I he, guess a crystal duck is like a wine decanter in the shape of a duck. Is that, oh, it's a decanter. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I just thought it was like a, something you put on that's a table. What, that's what I thought. That's I why say, I liked why, it. Why would you put a crystal <laughs> duck? Uh, what do you have to do for one of those? Uh, now we know. Shannon's next birthday. Get her a crystal duck. Uh, only, only John Perez, he also got $9,800 in travel assistance. He got 836 bucks from oh the Association of Life and Health Insurance Companies to go to that stupid Pebble Beach event that they have. Oh, every year they have the app. Yeah, that golf outing they yes. have and spa outing. Imagine Perez on the spa table. <laughs> Imagine the girl needs several masseuses. The, the girl gets that job. It's like, I'm not touching that. Come on. There's not enough money. Hmm. Uh, oh, and by the way, the Assembly Republican leader, Connie Conway, uh, she's she's all corrupted, too. She got over $10,000 in gifts, Disneyland tickets, horse racing tickets, uh, an $83 meal paid by the prison guards union. Was it prison food? <laughs> yeah, it was the it was uh, Joe oh, Arpaio's green bologna. The good old Pachanga, they gave her 250 bucks in meals and yeah. lodging. Yeah, come here, help us with another... So uh, Steinberg got a $256 ticket to a Giants baseball game. Wow, that's quite a game. It's been a sweet. Yeah. $140 dinner from the Los Angeles Chamber of Commerce. $959 in food. Oh, that's the Association of California Life and Health Insurance Companies mm. for making a speech at oh, the group's conference. Look at this. Robert Huff, uh, the loser Senate Republican leader. From Diamond Bar. There's only 10 left. He took $4,700 in gifts, $1,500 in travel expenses for a trip to Australia and New Zealand, including he got money from the Parliament of New South Wales, $689 in food and lodging from the California Dental Association to participate in a conference panel. Well, what? What does he have to say? He has no power. Republican Party is deceased. What's he going around trying to trade in on his position? 
Uh, $116 dinner from the Hospital Association. $94 dinner, a dollar dinner from the Barona Band of Mission Indians. Uh, Jerry Brown got about $2,500 in gifts, a $150 ticket to a Lakers game from Tony Villar. No. Now, he probably got that for free. Yeah, that's right. He passed he, it on to he, Brown. He regifted a bottle of tequila from the governor of Nuevo Leon from Mexico. A concert ticket from the San Francisco Symphony. Oh, Gustavo Dudamel. <laughs> I searched the paper on Sunday for a mention of him. You didn't find anything. And I'm like, what am I doing? Of course. Who cares? You got a lot of free time. I know. See, we'll that, get a life. That's life without kids on the weekend. You can spend the day going <laughs> through the Times looking for a, a, a Dudamel <laughs> reference. I've jinxed it. Uh, Perez also got bobbleheads worth $53 and $40. A $53 bobblehead? Is that how much they cost? They go for a lot. That's Ooh. why people line up for those giveaway nights at Dodger Stadium. Whose head is that? Never yeah. go oh. when they're giving away a bobblehead. By the way, most important for you, Shannon, it reports here in the Sacramento Bee that John Perez does collect ducks. Oh. He got $500 in crystal ducks, plural, it says in this story. Oh, then maybe it is a crystal duck. Oh. Um, did you see Jerry Brown got a $250 ticket from Newsweek? Even the media bribes him oh, to go to the, the White, White House. House Correspondence Dinner. Why? You're not supposed to have a media. He's a star. They wanted to talk to him. That, that's, I mean, it's bad enough that Jerry Brown gets all these uh, oiled up... Uh, <laughs> Yes? Please tell me more. No, I almost said something really dirty. Um, Let me just edit that out. I mean, doesn't he get enough slobbering from the news media, and they're actually giving him a ticket to go to the correspondence dinner, too? No doubt. Now, state law permitted legislators to accept gifts valued up to 420 bucks from a single source, but there's no dollar limit for travel provided either by foreign governments or by nonprofits for a trip that is, here's a giggle, governmental, legislative, or policy purpose, which explains why a whole bunch of them last year, they did this every year, they went to Maui. Uh, The California Independent Voter Project. Yeah, I think it's a bunch of business (laughs) groups that fund that. Independent voters. See, it makes it sound like it's, oh, that sounds very good. Independent voters? Well, it's a project. Well, 2,600 bucks per legislator to attend the event for three or four days. At a luxurious resort in Maui, which describes itself as a luxurious haven, one of the most scenic places on earth. You know what? What are the writers called this? Travel assistance. The assembly leader, uh, the the in was Norma Torres from Pomona, Democrat. She accepted twenty thousand dollars in trip aid. Trip aid. Travel assistance? They sound like poor people. These are bribes. No. $10,811 from the American Israel Education Foundation. What? What's that got to do with anything? I like this guy. Freshman Assemblyman Reggie Jones Sawyer, D. Los Angeles, attended the Hawaii event just days after he was elected, even before he was sworn into office. Well, that's just getting right on it, isn't it? He reported accepting $2,602 in accommodations to go to Maui. Oh, that's nice. They're such pigs. They really they're are such, pigs. And they're so blatant about it. They're so open about it now. They just don't care because nothing bad's going to happen to them. They never get voted out of office. Nobody ever. Now now people are increasingly approving of the way government is running in California. It's like. Now, the Republican state convention was this past weekend, and that's a giggle because there's only eight people left. But there is one news item worth reporting. Apparently, we might have our first candidate to challenge Jerry Brown next year. <laughs> it, it, he's laughing because he knows who it is. It's Abel Maldonado, <laughs> who told the Chronicle he is eyeing the 2014 governor's race because a different face is needed and a new Republican message for California. I've been encouraged publicly and privately to run. Really? Yeah. This guy has lost how many of his last races? Oh, he and he's so stupid, too. Yeah, he lost it's, his congressional district race by nearly 10 points. And he, and his he unsuccessfully ran for state controller in 06, and in 2010 lost his campaign to remain lieutenant governor. That's the position he got from Schwarzenegger for voting to raise he your taxes. He lost to Gavin Newsom. If you lost to Gavin Newsom for a worthless job like lieutenant governor, how the hell are you going to be Jerry Brown to be real governor? What a he's such a load. Well, he uh, couldn't even win his local district to get to Congress. No, he, he and his family have all kinds of bizarre tax he's problems. He's not that well known statewide, but he thinks he's some sort no. of star. And every time he is known, it's for something stupid. He 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 uh, he backstabbed the public 
on the No New Taxes Pledge, remember? Yeah, that's he how he got to be he, lieutenant governor. He was the last vote for that. His family is always in the news because they have major tax issues with their family farm. And remember the photo of him in the Sacramento Bee looking at the uh, computer screen with his head on a stick? Oh, trying yeah. to figure out if he was going to sell out. It's one of my favorite photos. Oh, yeah. Oh, he is such a loser. Oh, that would be the worst election, wouldn't it? Jerry Brown and Abel Maldonado. Oh, jeez. All right. When we come back, probably the mayor's race won't be completely decided tomorrow in Los Angeles. But one thing that will be, and we hope it's a no on Prop A, the sales tax increase. We'll get to it. Johnny Ketchup. Johnny-